Just me today for what we call bastard week in the gym. For the lads, for the ladies we call it bitch week, but I'm gonna put this out there because, because I think a lot of lads out there, ladies as well, when they, when, when they get into it it's fine, but I, starting off especially is you do not know how to push yourself hard. And I'm not saying you have to, but there comes a point in time where in order to get real progress and real results, you have to know how to push past barriers every now and then. And this is one of the main reasons why we have these weeks in the gym. We don't have to do them, but we do because it teaches you a lot about yourself mentally. It teaches you a lot about your training and what kind of limits you're training in. But for today, for example, I'm gonna be pushing to what's called failure. And there's an awful like, hotly debated topic around this. And next week won't be near as hard. I've championship next week as well in the hurling, so I'm gonna pull back for that too. But this week, I'm not gonna hold that in back. I've had a very brutal leg session yesterday with James here in the gym. And then today is an upper body volume day. And as well, I'm going to add in drop sets to the last set of the first, I think it's three to four exercises. And then I'll be getting more volume in, in the last few as well. So like, I'll be, I, I should be drained by the end of the day. I should be well worked. Tomorrow will be a rest day followed by another heavy leg day and a heavy upper body day later on in the week. And then I even have a challenge hurlers match at the end of this week as well. But the fact is you do not probably you probably do not push yourself hard enough this video is going to show you what the end of my sets look like what my drop sets look like on weeks where i really push past that mental barrier and what i think i can do and bear in mind i'm on my own for this session as well so it doesn't mean you need a spotter 24 7 right like that <laughs> So I'm starting off today with some upper body, lat, mobility work and chest as well. Just so I'm free myself up properly for the session ahead. And this, especially the lats is an area people neglect big time. So if you look at here, like I'm putting my arm on a full stretch overhead. Excuse the bruises from hurting. And then from there, by having that arm overhead, I'm putting my lat in a full stretch. And I'm working the overhead position so I can get deep into that lat and free it up because it's an area that a lot of people seem to be restricted in. So, I get some scat push-ups done, some regular push-ups, activate the chest, some bear crawls, some upper back opening movements, some band pull aparts, some band dislocations done now for the next five minutes, and then I go straight into my first warm-up set of my incline bench and then onto my working set sets, which I'm gonna show you. Just a quick little sample of the drop set. Again, I don't wanna get too carried away with the training in the vlog style stuff. And we'll show you what I mean by ramping up these weeks. So if you pick these weeks for once a month, at least you're pushing yourself mentally and physically in the gym. Probably could have dropped another drop set with that. Definitely could have. Probably could have got an extra rep. I have a lot more volume left to go in the session. I've heard about it this week. I have another upper body heavy session to do as well, so I'm bearing that in mind. And this week I'm progressing on reps rather than trying to add on weight. So like all I did was from last week is I upped my sets by a minimum of one rep. For I think I got like three out of the five extra reps. But like that's a big jump from last week. What are you thinking about? Take an account of what kind of phase you're in as well. Sorry about the flick of music in the background. But progressing one rep at a time, adding the drop set, I've already added volume, I've already progressed from last week. So now I'm gonna move on to the same with the next, I think it's the next four exercises actually. And uh, I'll finish off with some chest isolation work then and some direct arm work at the end. I'm not gonna bother showing you that. We have our clients in the next couple of hours as well, so we might get a snippet of those pushing each other, spotting each other, and wrap up their volume too. Just to show you how to push that bit more. It's a lot easier when you have someone with you rather than doing it myself, you know, because all I have is this camera.
Hold up. Play. Oh, my nigga, who be thinking we soft? We don't play. <laughs> So that, that is the end of that session and that is how to get a crazy fucking pump. But um, time wise, what an hour and 10 minutes. I was pricking around it in a bit between sets. It's tough when you're on your own doing these sessions, but I'm on a time cap here because if I want to eat, I have to get home and get back in. But uh, push yourself a bit more often in the gym. So we're back after that. I'm gonna make the infamous protein power to make as well. I've never, I've never actually done a video on this. So this is kind of how I like to do it first. I get this softened up, I let that kind of soak for a while in very little amounts of water and then I add some almond milk to that because it, it does add a bit of texture and bulk to it up a small bit. Then I'll pop in this stuff and I made some of these, um, what are they called, protein cookies later on the week, the YouTube, they'll be up on my YouTube as well this week too with this stuff, absolutely gorgeous. Some raspberries, I don't have any dark chocolate but as well I'm going to bump it up with some pancake syrup as well. And I'm going to bring a pre prep meal in back into the gym for coaching the lads this evening as well. So let's take a look at how this one turns out. So you'll see I make this a bit lumpier with the almond milk. I'm still going to make it a bit more than that, but I do it slowly to get it to the texture I want and then add the protein powder and then I might add a bit more. So all in all, you're going to be using a cup of this stuff. Protein powder goes in. So I've just added it in this out here, about 10 15 grams in between that, some raspberries. I don't have any dark chocolate with me today, but I'm going to pop in these protein cookies that I made earlier on the week. As I said, it'll be on YouTube as well. So I'm going to top it off with some of this left. And that is her done. So let's dive in this, and we're going back into coaching straight after. No, after 30, you're done. This is an example of a drop set for Kate, but just have a look at the way she finishes up her last set and then how she's pushing for the drop set. And I'm gonna show you one with Robbie as well afterwards. All right, Kate, let's go. We gonna rock until the wheels fall off. Hold up. Wait. Oh, my nigga, who be acting too bold? Take a. So I'm back in the apartment watching Blacklist get into bed early tonight, but I didn't want to overemphasize uh, Instagram. I didn't want to overemphasize saying that generically people don't push hard in the gym. And again, like I said earlier, you don't need to be roaring and screaming and shouting and or looking at videos thinking why the hell is he roaring or shouting? Because I know that I got caught up in that stuff before. And I got kind of confused of what the hell some lads were training in the gym when I was very, very ranked beginner starting out. So like these weeks, basically what we do with these is we call them bastard week for the lads. We call them bitch week for the ladies in the gym and for my own training as well. Where volume is increased. The intensity sets as we call them are increased. We have stuff like isometric holds at the end of a set when you, you push to failure and go beyond. We'd have like partial reps, eccentric reps negatives some people call them drop sets is a big part which is what we're doing this month but that way is we're really ramping volume week three of a month then week four we'll pull back down and then we'll ramp back up again from, with a new program and block on week five if you like which would be like week one again and that's the way we work it like because as i said earlier it's 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 good for real life as well um but if there's a week where you're you're, you're wrecked tired and you can't push that hard for that week you can just prolong it the next week like but when you keep that over a year, you push on, pull back, push on, pull back. It's like three steps forward, two steps back kind of thing, and it just works wonderfully. So I'm back into my big ass meal. There is no actual like carb source other than the veg in this, but look at the size of that for 
keep me full. And then, oh shit, if I spit in balsamic vinegar, I'll rub myself. And then we're gonna leave, I'm leaving room then for some uh, dark chocolate. And that's today's vlog. Nothing crazy, exciting. I'm gonna try and see can I get more exciting days into these vlogs. I don't wanna kind of show these generic days anymore because uh, they do get a bit boring after a while. But um, that's all for today. If you like this channel, guys, give it a thumbs up on the YouTube page. Subscribe to it if you want to see more and see some of the more of the education and stuff that I put out and the blogs I put out on the website as well because I want to keep those going weekly. But again, if people are not watching it, people don't give a shit, I'm not going to bother. So thank you for watching and we'll chat to you soon. Bye-bye. What is this? <laughs> Melted for fill bar. What else, Kate? Airy balls on the top. Airy balls on the top.